Lucy, is there any more vim? The box is empty and I... Never mind. What are you doing with these? We can't find the checkers. I need that to jump on a jury's mint. Well, I need those to wash these dirty sweatshirts of yours. Can't you use something else? No, I can't. Vim washes clothes whiter than anything I've ever used in my washing machine. With these checkers, there's no spill, no mess, and no sneezing. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I need these to wash your clothes white. Thanks a lot. <laughs> What you doing, Chris? I'm sorry, Aunt Viv, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to exchange this for a darker color. Why, you look adorable in the white one. But why is it so hard to keep looking white? Have you forgotten Vim? Just drop four Vim tablets in the automatic washer and you'll have the whitest robe you've ever seen. It's as simple as that. Here, dear, Merry Christmas. Another gift? Oh, gee, thanks, Aunt Viv. You sure think of everything. Well, I don't know about that, but I certainly think of Vim. Hey, Chris, got a great idea. What? All these greasy dishes. Let Tiger do them. <laughs> Boy, can he get a dish clean. <laughs> he sure can. But his tongue will dry up before he gets to the greasy pan. Take suds that last to clean everything. And Swan's got them. Swan? Swan. Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. For grease cutting his... Grease cutting his suds. Watch. Other products often lose their suds doing dishes. Lose the cleaning power you need for greasy pots and pans. But Swan Suds keep working with you. The grease cutting as suds you've ever seen. You sure had enough suds to clean everything. And my paws, or hands, are still soft and young looking. That's more than you can say, Tiger. Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. The grease cutting is grease cutting is suds. Okay, kids, twist right over there and get started on those dishes. Oh, no. All these dishes and greasy pans, too? Oh, come now. Swan's got plenty of suds to cut that grease. Just listen. Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. The grease cutting is... Grease cutting is suds. Yes, Swan with the grease cutting is suds. Watch. Other products often lose their suds doing dishes, lose the cleaning power you need for greasy pots and pans. But Swan Suds work all the way. The grease cutting is suds you've ever seen. Boy, that's what I call clean. Swan feels mild on your hands, too. Didn't I tell you? Like the song says. Play it again, Sam. <laughs> Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. The grease cutting is grease cutting is suds. Aunt Viv, uh -huh. do you suppose I could be a reporter like Mom? Sure, dear. What would you like to write about? Well, I don't know. There's a story for you right here. What? Swan. See the suds? Hey, that's a great story. Wait a minute. Good reporters check their stories. You mean... You bet I do. Step right over here and get the real story of what swan suds means. Other products often lose their suds doing dishes, lose the cleaning power you need for greasy pots and pans. But Swan Suds work all the way. The grease cutting is suds you've ever seen. There, you got your story. Those suds, Swan really cuts the grease. You are right, Aunt Viv. Good reporters check their stories. All you have to do is write it. Or sing it. Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. The grease cutting is... Grease cutting his suds. Well, Mrs. Bagley, you're working late tonight. Oh, Professor Vance, I'm pleased to tell you I've invented a liquid that will be a boon to every housewife. And his properties? It cleans dishes and glassware, and it cuts grease from pots and pans. If your liquid contains these wonderful cleaning properties, what happens to the hands of the user? Good question. This liquid is so mild that when you finish the dishes, your hands are as soft as a baby's. Marvelous. And did you make all these suds with your liquid? I did. And to coin a phrase, my liquid keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. Miraculous! You've invented a great product! Oh, I was just teasing you, Professor. I didn't invent it. Lieber Brothers did. Oh. And it's called New Pink Liquid Swan. This does everything you've said? Everything! Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. The grease cutting is... Grease cutting is suds.
This does it, Chris. We've unloaded all the supplies from the boat. Oh, good. These bars of Lux go in the linen closet. All this soap? Where did our mothers think we were going to sail? Ladies who want soft, smooth skin always like to have plenty of Lux beauty soap on hand. Even on board a ship? A boat. I can see it now. Don't sail yet, Captain Columbus. We haven't got the Lux on board. <laughs> Now, what do you want? What time's Mom coming home? Any minute, so get right back into bed. Don't you ever get tired of washing your face? That's how much boys know. A girl's skin is supposed to be kept soft looking. Is that why you're using Lux? Yes, that's why I'm using Lux. Now go to bed. I wonder if Amy Schaefer uses Lux. Who's Amy Schaefer? She sits in front of me in school. Why don't you ask her if her skin feels soft? <laughs> What kind of a birthday present is this? Where did you find that? Where you hid it? In the linen closet? A box of Lux Beauty Soap. That's a very nice birthday present. For an eight-year-old boy? You're gonna like Lux's creamy, smooth lather. For my birthday? Lux will keep your skin soft. Come on, what did you get me for my birthday? You'll find out next Saturday. Boy, are you hard to get along with. Why don't you use some more Lux and soften up? <laughs> Jerry, Mom asked me to help you with your arithmetic. Please, not while I'm eating. Now, if you had 12 dishes of Jell-O pudding and you gave seven of them to Sherman, how many would you have left? What flavor? Well, I don't know. Chocolate? Okay, if you had 12 dishes of Jell-O chocolate flavor pudding and gave seven to Sherman, how many would you have left? Twelve. You don't know how to subtract. You don't know how much I like jello chocolate pudding. <laughs> now, here's a package of jello pudding and pie filling with one recipe on this side and one on this side. How many recipes are there all together? Well, what's the answer? Jello chocolate pudding is the answer to what's for dessert. And Viv, you're supposed to stay off your feet. Oh, I know, but uh, something smells so good, I just had to hop on down. It's this coconut cream pie I just baked, made with Jell coconut cream pie filling. Say, you're getting to be quite a cook. Thanks, but making pies a cinch with Jell pie filling, that's why Mom says it's the creamy, easy answer to what's for dessert. I adore coconut. Then you'll love Jell coconut cream pie filling, because it has lots of real shredded coconut mixed in it. It's amazing. That gorgeous big pie started with this little box. Well, as long as I hopped all the way down here, let's make it a paying trip, huh? <laughs> well, Mrs. Bagley, you're working late tonight. Oh, Professor Vance, I'm pleased to tell you I've invented a liquid that will be a boon to every housewife. And his properties? It cleans dishes and glassware, and it cuts grease from pots and pans. If your liquid contains these wonderful cleaning properties, what happens to the hands of the user? Good question. This liquid is so mild that when you finish the dishes, your hands are as soft as a baby's. Marvelous. And did you make all these suds with your liquid? I did. And to coin a phrase, my liquid keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. Miraculous. You've invented a great product. Oh, I was just teasing you, Professor. I didn't invent it. Lieber Brothers did. Oh. And it's called New Pink Liquid Swan. This does everything you've said? Everything. Swan keeps sudsing and sudsing and sudsing and sudsing. The grease cutting is grease cutting is suds. There you are, girls. I made you a Jell-O lemon meringue pie to celebrate the success of the paper sale. Mmm, tastes great. You're all right, Viv. Well, we girls deserve something special, and a Jell-O lemon pie is about the specialest thing I can think of. Hadn't we better save some, though? Why? To send to Lucy in the Brewster jail. Oh, she isn't going to jail, Audrey. But she had to promise never to drive in Brewster as long as she lives. Mm, then we can have seconds. Well, okay. It is pretty hard to resist that wonderful tart, sweet, lemony goodness. How about that? Our very own little red fire suits and second helpings of jello lemon pie. Let's have another paper collection. 